Uh, hello guys, uh, we are back here with one more uh, more video demonstrating our uh, our application, our Microsoft application. Okay, on this uh, on this video we are gonna show the the second part of our architecture that is involving two microservices and one Kafka broker, and basically you are gonna create a new a new uh, to do here on this server and this is gonna send an event to our Kafka broker and then it's gonna um, propagate this event to all uh, subscribers so in this case we have here Amelia service there's a subscriber to a uh, created uh, to do event so uh, let's see how it works You're gonna see here. Uh, if you look at here, and you see our uh, service that is running at the moment, you can realize that the, it's not all services running, uh, and this is because I don't have enough um, memory here to run all those services. So because those, uh, it's many services, and those it's quite consuming, quite uh, memory. And if you do a docker uh, stats, I think you can see the consuming of those uh, services. So here it's more than four, and, uh, and it's all everything that I have. And uh, uh, so Linux to protect the their the the system, they have a OM killer. There is a process that kill kind of sacrifice one or more process in order to free up memory for the system. So if you are try to start some service and in the service it's suddenly a be like killed and you don't understand why maybe you are running out of memory and as a protection okay, Linux it's killing uh, your process. Okay. So when this happened, so for test those two services, you need to speed it up. Uh, one, this service, this service, a reminder service, and you need Kafka, and also Kafka use uh, Zookeeper. So, and you need then this mayor service, so you need four more services here. That is not at the moment working. Uh, you have uh, two options. Uh, the first option is add this new service um, one by one because we already have this infrastructure here and you, in the beginning I showed you that we created a new um, network and you can just add this uh, service to our network and inform some IPs that this service is consuming and the other option that I have here separated uh, comp uh, docker compose that we can uh, drop all those cells and just start the cells necessary to your uh, to what you are testing in, uh, in that moment for example if you now you're gonna test uh, events so this is have everything that we need to test this part of the system so you have his keeper Kafka reminder uh, mail and config that it's those uh, services that you need to be uh, up and running for in order to test that so you have here separate so you can just uh, start uh, this part of the infrastructure or you can just add um, one specific uh, service to the to the architecture and this can help you because if you are uh, changing something you don't need to every time that you change something in one specific cell you don't need to drop all those cells and up again so this can be useful and here I'm sh I have here how you are doing that so for example here let's try to do this I think it's gonna be a, a useful um, so here we are running one specific uh, image and we are passing uh, hosts 
with the name config and your IP and also we are adding this uh, container to our network that we created uh, in the beginning of this tutorial um, so basically here you have the reminder so you're gonna try to speed up reminder but before you need to confirm those IPs um, for example how you confirm that so when you do this add host this effectively is going to create this file for you and um, cat it etc hosts so this is basically what i'm doing in the beginning so the here is going to be a config and here the ip of this config so when you access this this is going to be redirected to this ip so it's kind of prox local dns and uh, let's check docker let's check what is the uh, config server ip i can inspect config and you can here see here network information this show many information about your container but what you are looking for is by the ip here and you see so it's two and I think you already add the two here for the config and the Eureka and Docker and Eureka, Eureka, Eureka here, this is Eureka let's just confirm before and and the Eureka it's four so here you need to change uh, four and some that I just not that the IP it's wrong so for the reminder it's 15 and you just start so okay so I just started uh, the reminder container and you can uh, see the logs this you need to follow and you see that it's built up a new container and those it's uh, already added to the to the network but we are not going to the solution because we need to add this one here as well and this here so it's gonna be um, like painful to do the one by one so it's better just to use our uh, compost that it's uh, speed up those all those sets that we are testing at the moment and um, so maybe because you are starting a new service here so you are with a little memory uh, probably uh, Linux is going to kill another process and probably one of those um, Says that we started before it's gonna uh, die okay so let's let's stop all those cells that we have at the moment here my idea here that it's also consuming I look at our opinion it's saying that the stuff is time um, that's, okay. that's low usually uh, let's go so let's while you are waiting let's see here how you start with uh, the example how to scale the our gateway and uh, here and we need to change to 
event so basically here we are only starting the services related to events okay and here we are stopping all because there is this can you see this like we have a, a container that using our network here and you are not able to stop the uh, this network because you have a, a running container so you have to uh, stop it stop, uh, stop. Now, yeah, no, con any con no, there is no container run anymore, so let's start new ones. Message for directory, okay, this is on assets. Uh, yes, so Zookeeper config and starting I think this will not take that long maybe you can just wait here and okay I'm gonna uh, pause the video because I don't know how long this is gonna take so maybe uh, so I finished here and uh, we we can see now that you care so you have here reminder mail kafka and zookeeper running so now you are ready to test uh, the second part of our microsoft okay and the first thing you have to do is access the let's test if kafka is proper running so we're gonna go doc x and d do kafka so we'll go here now we are inside the doc the container of kafka and let's to access the kafka broke the consume here Here you are consuming the uh, the message that you have in the broker, and here we are gonna open the producer console. Uh, yeah. uh, okay, so you have, let's open. Okay, exactly. Here. And uh, Kafka two five seven dash. And let's open the. Oh God's sake! What's going on here? Uh, what? Crazy. Uh, okay, here you have the. A producer console so let's send you have two here we are in Kafka and also here in the Kafka container but here you are executing the consumer uh, console and here you are using the producer one so let's send a message this is the main message test so you send here and from here you can see that we are consuming properly so Kafka it's running uh, uh, properly so now you have to test if uh, our application can connect to, to Kafka uh, and send message from here to here and consume from this 
saves it here. Um, the first thing you can access, uh, let's when you create a new reminder here, this is gonna fire up uh, an event to, to the broker. Let's do this part and uh, let's see how you create a new here. You already have here how to create a new event. So you're gonna go here. Just here you are just it's a just a curve then you are sending uh, some fields with some data in a JSON uh, format and in the in the post you send this this was great and you can see uh, some here, here. But anyway, this is not what you need um, here so you can see in our consumer console that what you just created here was created a new to do uh, created event and pass our data that you just sent so the, this was sent to the broker and you have to check if this with this we, we are um, confirming that it was sent to here we are seeing those data here you just need to confirm that was uh, uh, received here and how we do this we can uh, uh, let's access to the okay uh, uh, mayor serves here then docker logs follow so here we are showing the the logs for our mirror service so here and I'm gonna send a, a I'm gonna create a new uh, a new to do here and I'm gonna see in the logs here saying that uh, the, the to do was created successfully so let's go to this one here and send and you can see here that was already showing this to do was created uh, and all those information for example a caption another test was exactly what you're saying here and if you add something else it's um post um, yeah just this just to confirm that it's the same so look now we have this uh, 22, 22 that we added so basically we can see that this it's working properly so we are communicating uh, between two two microservices through the Kafka broke, uh, broker and uh, everything worked fine and uh, this part here we are using a spring stream to this communication and uh, it's very interesting part of the system so uh, I think uh, it's uh, worth uh, checking it out. Uh, that's all for now. Uh, next video, I'm gonna show how to uh, check uh, our logs uh, using LK. Okay, thank you.